I'm going to give you guys one of the most powerful meditations to heal yourself and bring yourself back into balance and equilibrium with your higher self, your purpose, and knowing yourself. We all have a perfect roller coaster ride, which is our life, that can be literally peace and bliss here on earth if we can get in tune with our higher self and get in tune with who we truly are deep down at the core. And what happens is we get confused by filling our minds up with other people's thoughts and ideas and things that don't resonate with us. Like for example, you probably hate school, but you still win. In my personal belief, any time that we force ourselves to do something that doesn't resonate with our soul, we fall off this perfect roller coaster ride. Whenever you try to do something to impress somebody or get validation or get approval from an outside source, you are betraying your higher self. And basically that is an act of self-hatred, which will only lead towards ruining the perfect manifestation, which was yours by default at birth. So without further ado, let's get into the meditation technique. So what you do is you sit underneath water. Water is liquid crystal. It helps you get into the manifestation state. Our bodies are made of water. And when we are in water, we accelerate our manifestation abilities. And so underneath warm running water, warm so that you can relax and you can really get into a deep theta state. You're gonna sit there and you're gonna say, I call all my energy back to me now from all people, places, things, or entities. This sets up the meditation. This is not the actual complete meditation. The technique itself is you say, I love you so much. I love myself. I am loved. I have everything I ever needed and wanted. I am loved. I am perfect. I am perfection. I am love. I love myself so much. I love how perfect I am. I am in love with myself. I am the fucking most beautiful person. I am the most strong version of myself. And you speak lovingly about yourself and you cover yourself in a warm blanket. You imagine this warm blanket of love covering you up like when you were in the womb. So when we were in the womb, we drank our own pee and we were self-sustained. So we drank basically a little bit of our mother's urine and a little bit of our own urine. And we were self-sustained in a tight little womb that was like a blanket of love. It helped, it made you feel safe. And you never uh, were in fear of not having enough water or, or food. Your food and your water came through the umbilical cord. And then at some point you started looping your own urine. And that's basically how we started. It's where we came from. And that is what we lost when we started going against ourselves and letting other people take control of our mind, our thoughts, how we think, how we feel. Whenever you don't resonate with somebody, you got to let go of them. You got to let go of them. If you do not resonate how they treat you, what they are into, you got to let go of these people. You got to forget they exist. And when you get to this level where you love yourself so much, that's the fun part is forgetting that people exist. Forgetting, forgetting that anything that you thought was a problem even exists. And when you have this power where you can just let go of the existence of something you thought was a problem, you realize that you are unstoppable. You realize that you are unbreakable. And from this higher perspective, you can do and manifest anything. What I want you to understand is, so at the end of the day, leaders in this life are people that have their own thoughts. And they are able to disregard the opinions of others. And most people can't do this. 
because they're put into boxes. So every time you're in a social uh, scenario or situation, you get put into a social box by the surrounding environment, by the external, the external world. Everybody, they this is what people do, right? They start trolling each other. They joke around. They say what they really are thinking, but they say it in a joking manner to have plausible deniability. And then they put people in their place through jokes and humor. And there's always a competition going on behind the scenes. And eventually, sometimes, things erupt. And people clash and yell and scream at each other. Because that's been boiling beneath the surface the whole time. People smile in each other's faces. But they really want to see each other fail. Because they want to feel superior in some sort of way. And it's because they're lacking love for themselves. It's insecurity that is seeping through. Do you understand? And it is what it is. At the end of the day, there's a lot of people who are living quiet, desperate lives where you would think on the outside they have everything. And you see other people that might be jealous of these people, but deep down, they're lonely, they're scared. They don't know who they are or where they're going or what their life purpose is. And you, and you might even look at these people like, what? You have everything. But that's not how they see themselves. And so, you, it's up to you to love you. It's up to you to shower yourself with this blanket of love. And put yourself in this state where you can get back on the roller coaster of bliss, perfection, and abundance. And manifest what you're supposed to experience in this life. See, if you're all clouded with other people's thoughts, ideas, and you're thinking about other people because of the interaction you had earlier with this one person, you're not going to be able to listen to your heart, your soul, and really know what your mission is, what you should be doing, what your purpose is here. None of those things are going to come to you intuitively. And so you're blocking your blessings. Because it's only through taking the proper actions that we are able to manifest in this life. See, you can't just think thoughts and manifest. There's three parts. Mind, body, soul. You have to take action. You have to feel, you have to think, and you have to do. But most people do the wrong things because they're feeling and thinking the wrong way. And that is the truth about reality that most people won't won't speak about or they just don't know and they forgot about and you might be wondering where did your life go wrong it went wrong if you're wondering that when you stopped loving yourself consciously see we're built up of subconscious habits and these subconscious habits stack up they stack up and we become unaware of these subconscious habits. We become aware because we just keep doing the same thing on autopilot every day. And what might happen is our life becomes a culmination of all these things that we're doing automatically without thinking. You need to take control over your life by consciously loving yourself, consciously creating new habits and new patterns, consciously. See, we fall off the roller coaster when trauma happens and we don't deal with it, right? A breakup, a this, a that. And here's the crazy thing. When you start loving yourself, blessings come. Blessings come. And what usually happens, the mistake that people usually make is they go for the first blessing. That's the wrong thing to do. See, when you have amazing energy that you've culminated and you've worked on, people, demons, people inhabited by demons will start to come out of the woodwork and try to take and siphon some of that energy from you. So, for example, let's say you're a guy who throughout your life growing up, you didn't get too many girls sexually interested in you. And then you work on yourself, you self-develop, and then all of a sudden, all these girls want you. But as soon as you want them, 
that's when they don't want you anymore and here's why because you loved yourself till your cup was overflowing and they saw that you had extra to give and they figured he'll do anything for me so they siphoned your energy and as soon as they drained you of it either through ejaculation or being able to get you to react to them these are the ways that they siphon your energy and once they dry you up of that energy their cup is full of validation and they move on to the next victim this is what we call a narcissist and these people exist and they only know how to get love from others and then dispose to be a leader to be somebody of, of value to be somebody who is sustainable and can maintain independently of others that's not a leech you have to learn how to love yourself and this is what the empath does and you got to be balanced between empath and narcissist when somebody messes with you you have to be able to kill them and defend yourself that's a part of loving yourself you have to you don't go out of your way to hurt others like a narcissist does and has to in order to feel like their cup is full you have a balance in between being able to protect yourself but also being able to love yourself and being able to fill your own cup and this meditation puts you into that state where you can get back on that roller coaster you have enough energy to share but like i said when you start using this meditation beware once you start loving yourself every day and you feel so good <laughs> you best believe the people are going to come around that want to exchange love that want to claim that they've always been into you the money will flow the things will start flowing into your life tons of money and abundance and love opportunities will flow into your life and what i'm telling you to do what i'm telling you to do is to disregard that which is not for you even though it comes wrapped in gold it doesn't glitter you need to see through the bullshit the lies the fake promises see through this shit don't take the first girl the first guy that comes to you with an offer of love at face value like it's real understand no you can keep loving yourself and this person, you don't have to be rude. You don't have to be a dick, but you do have to keep your peace. You do have to keep your happiness. You do have to keep your self-love intact or your blessings will be seeped from you. Now, sometimes when people fall, they downward spiral for some time. And you can see who's downward spiraling and upwards, upward spiraling by their habits and what they're doing on a daily basis. People that are upward spiraling don't have addictions. Only people downward spiraling have addictions. Only people downward spiraling smoke. Only people that are downward spiraling play video games all day. Only people that are downward spiraling eat junk food. And you can, listen, here's the crazy part. You can downward spiral for 50 years downward spiraling doesn't mean you die the next day stay in my opinion a lot of these people living in these houses are downward spiraling a lot of people living in these houses that are all caught up in politics and religions and different things that they're filling their mind with that are wasted space they are tangled in webs because they've been downward spiraling out of control for many, 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 many years. Many, many years. And sometimes people get abundance later in life. Sometimes people don't figure it out until they're 70. They have lost all their hair, and but now they have a business that's popping off. Now they have a purpose. They have a mission. They found a new relationship with their self. And that happened at 70. But what I'm telling you is it doesn't have to happen at 70. What I'm telling you is if this video is finding you right now, right now is a better time than any. And it might take three months of loving yourself.
It might take six months of loving yourself. It might take nine months of loving yourself. But the point is, as soon as the blessings come, don't stop loving yourself. Because the blessings will come more than you could ever expect them to. The exact girl that you thought you've been wanting, the exact relationship of that guy that you've been thinking that you wanted will come. And you'll realize you were only wanting it because you felt incomplete. You can only want something if you're not whole. Because why do you need to add anything if you're already whole? And once you're already whole, the, the thing is, you need to overlook the things that are not for you that are disguised as blessings. And then what will happen is the thing that is actually meant for you will come into your life and it'll be effortless. You don't have to struggle for it. You don't have any fear involved in it. You are more inspired to love yourself from it. And life becomes a dream in the physical. And that is the truth. So, I know most of you watching this video will probably have to learn the lesson the hard way because <laughs> when the uh, opportunity comes after you've been loving yourself for some time and really feeling whole and giving yourself everything that you need straight from source, you will fall for the bait of the first blessings that come that are wrapped in gold but they're not glittering and you have to learn the hard way but the best thing to do is to get back on the horse of loving yourself quickly after falling and this is for those of you who do end up taking a spill and a fall even though you reached a height of loving yourself and manifested some abundance a lot of people when they get their first million they lose it very fast a lot of people when they get in there first loving relationship they lose it very fast and it's because you weren't ready you were not ready for that you looked at that like it was a replacement for loving yourself and then you took the blessing and you squeezed it too tight like a butterfly if you catch it and you put it in a jar that butterfly is now going to die and suffocate it is now going to starve. Next thing you know, it's a bunch of tattered wings laying there lifeless. And so that's what you did to your blessing. That's what you did to your blessing because you didn't, at the end of the day, realize that it only came to you because you were loving yourself. And then when you substituted loving yourself with the external thing, the external world then dissipated. And on that note, I'm out guys, peace.